What's up guys, Hype here for a, another After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cool uh, black and white kind of effect, except for leaving whatever color you choose. And this uh, one I chose red, but you can choose any color, blue, green, yellow, whatever. This is also a good way to change colors of things. Let's say you have red Spartans and you want blue Spartans, you can do this to change that. Um, it's pretty simple. I've seen a bunch of t tutorials on how to do this, but every single one had to do with you had to mask out each individual frame and like make the the part that you didn't mask out like the Spartans and stuff make that black and white and it would leave the Spartans the same color. But that uh, looked like it take it took way too much time to go through each individual frame and mask out everything that you wanted to keep color. So I thought this was a pretty easy solution. Uh, it's not perfect, but you can just uh, mess with it a little bit, try to get it exactly how you want to. But uh, let's get started, I guess. So first thing you're gonna do is take the um, clip you want, or in this case, it's an angle, and I'm going to trim it to where the angle actually starts, because you know in the beginning it's just you know it's not moving. And I'm gonna trim the end to keep just to make it a little easier. Um, right, it's let's see right there. Okay. And layer new adjustment layer. What you're gonna do is you're gonna need two effects. They are selective color and leave color right there. Okay. So it doesn't do anything at first. What you're gonna do is bump up this decolor. You see, and you get this black and white if you go all the way except for some very very red sections so I don't know maybe like an 80 bump this color down so that it's not as bright red and maybe move the tolerance up you get something like that that could that gets pretty good right there as it is you could you could just leave it like that but if to really get the uh, exactly how you want it you can uh, you know, change this. You can you, know, you can get a darker red or a, a bright red. It's really just up to you and what you are looking for. Or you can sit here and change the color, make it yellow, or maybe a gold or I don't know, a white. It's really this is really a, a good way to you can, you can always darken things or lighten things with the black. Um, I think it's just a really so basically what it is is this the leaf color gets you the effect and the um, the selective color lets you pick which color you want so you can always just you know mess with it a little bit and let's say you want it to be about 30 I think that's what I had earlier a amount of decolor you might want to drop down to 75 or so you keep it at 100 so everything is completely black and white when you bump down or up the so you get something like this I don't know you really just have to mess with it to it exactly maybe you don't want it to completely at a at 100 maybe you want it like at 80 and that's really the effect guys I think I actually had it at 130 negative 67 so I mean As you can see, it's not perfect. I actually added a darker red. Something more like this, maybe. As you can see, that kind of messed it up a little bit, but. And I had those at 100, so. You really just have to go through and mess with everything. You know, you get something like that, maybe. Or maybe you think that's a little too strong of a red. Maybe you want to uh, lower the red down. It's really a diverse effect. You can change it up a little bit. You can make it relative whatever but basically this is the effect you go from that to that uh, I think it just it's a cool little effect on how to just mess with colors maybe you want this for like an, a cool intro maybe you want to um, do this for 
angle an angle or something uh, or just like a, a one clip edit where you're just trying to use cool effects or kind of like an I don't want to say artsy but kind of like a different kind of edit uh, it's really up to you and this is just an easy way to do it so you don't have to mask out every single frame and try to get it perfect even though this is not 100% perfect but definitely I think it's the job done if you mess with it I'm sure you could get exactly how you wanted it so that's it for today guys um, if you have any comments just leave them in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for future edits, that'd be great. Uh, so yeah, that's it, guys. Peace.